Hello and welcome to the Association of Food and Drug Officials Fish Evisceration video. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to properly eviscerate a fish. What we have here is an Atlantic mackerel, scombrous scombrous, commonly cured, salted and smoked. Right now we're going to start with taking out the gills. If the fish has scales on it, be sure to scale the entire fish, remove all your fins before you do this. Now we're going to start here with removing the gills. Some fish you could actually pull the gills out by hand, like I'm doing here. Some fish the gills are a little bigger depending on the size of the fish and you're going to actually have to cut them out. You can cut them out with this if need be. That's one side. Now we're going to do the other side. You could actually see this a little bit better. Go to this side and do the same thing. Now you want to remove all the gill rakers. Have all of these removed. This can be a bloody operation, but it's necessary. Okay, now, if you look inside here, all gill rakers, all remnants of the gill rakers are removed. If you need to, you can use a little snip to get inside and cut off the ends where the gill rakers are. Now, what I'm going to do here today is I'm going to try to show you how to cut this. When you eviscerate a fish, you go from the anus all the way to the collar. Don't give the fish. Don't make a cut over here and give it and try to pull out the eviscera. Cut the full thing open. Now we're going to cut here. Just cut a small incision. Try to use surgical precision. Cut it all the way open. Now if you look inside, now you see this fish is not in the spawning season, so there's no milta row sacs inside. If there were milta row sacs inside, remove those first, process those separately. We didn't damage any of the viscera. What we're going to do here is you're going to take this with your finger, lightly, pull everything out, starting over by the anus, and work your way up. Be careful not to break apart the viscera. There you go. Now it's nice and open and clean. The only thing left inside here now is blood, extraneous matter, and the peritoneum. Peritoneum, you just want to scrape it away. This is easy to see because it's dark. You want to pull all of this away. The only thing that you want to leave inside here is flesh, fat, and bone. Now if you notice when I cut up to the collar, I cut through the collar. If this is a fish that's going to be processed whole or it's going to be processed with just with the head off, you might want to leave the collar attached right here at the end this way the fish stays in shape while you're smoking it or curing it or however you're processing it. Now if you look inside here, most people think that, okay, you're done, but you're really not. There's a little pocket of blood right along the bone. What you do is you cut right along the bone and you break that blood pocket. Take your thumb and you're going to work that right out. All right, now I'm going to take this to the sink. I'm going to wash it out for you and I'll bring it right back. Okay, if you look inside here now, Mostly everything inside here is removed. Any little extra pieces or extraneous matter, scrape all of this away, and then take it back to the sink, and you rinse it off once again. Okay. Now if you take a look in here, all the gill rake is removed, all the remnants of the gills are removed. There's no loose matter, there's no attachments, anything, any bits of organs anywhere. It's just flesh fat and bone. All the blood that you see is underneath inside the flesh and it's inside the bone. Once everything is properly washed, rinsed and sanitized, this will be a good time to do a surface pathogen elimination step. 